Hey, what is up mortals? It is James Seether here, and before we get into today's video, I'd like to thank my supporters on Patreon. Well, my supporter, and that is Dunkbuckus Gaming. Thank you for supporting me. His channel will be in the description below. Also, a link to my Patreon will be in the description, as well as a link to the Discord group chat. On that Discord group chat, you can talk to myself and others. There are quite a few people in there already, and it'd be awesome if you joined us. Anyway, into the video. Part 3 of My Hero Academia, what if Azuka could use 100% without breaking his bones. Where we left off last time, the USJ incident had just begun. A large group of villains had teleported in through the warp gate quirk. The students of 1A are questioning where they came from and why the alarms aren't going off. 13 and Eraserhead are discussing and agree that getting the students out of here is the best course of action. The students begin to rush towards the exit, while Eraserhead goes in to attack the villains. 13 stays close to the students to defend them. Then a purple and black portal opens. It covers the students and then they are split up, just like in the anime. This time, however, Ozuku is stuck under the water with the villains. This time, he gets ready to throw a punch, but just before he can, Sue grabs him and Mineta and gets them out of there onto the boat. From the boat, Ozuku starts to think of the best way to take out the villains. Ozuku would decide that the best way to deal with this situation would be to get himself, Mineta, and Sue out of there. So he grabs onto Mineta and Sue and then jumps over to the land. He lands on the land, creating a crater. When he jumped off the boat, a massive wave was pulled behind him as he moved at his top speed towards the land. The ship that he jumped off exploded from the force that he applied to the ground. As he looks at the massive wave following him behind him, he quickly gets ready to throw a punch and he yells, Detroit Smash! He throws a full power smash that rips apart the whole area. Thankfully the villains were towards the sides, just enough that the sheer pressure of the water didn't pancake them on impact. Suddenly, a massive black figure appears right in front of the three students. Mineta is terrified, Sue is in shock, and Izuku is worried. The black figure just stands there as the portal opens and the leader walks through. The leader says, Nomu, kill these three. Azuku instinctively moves, activating one for all in his legs and arm. He vanishes as he moves towards the Nomu, faster than the eye can see, faster than even the Nomu can react. He hits the Nomu with 100% of his power. Now this Nomu is designed to fight All Might in his weaker state. It is hit by Azuku, who is even stronger than All Might in his prime at this point, because he can use 100% with no recoil. The punch hits the Nomu, and a sonic boom can be heard as the Nomu goes flying. It instantly vanishes. No amount of shock absorption could stop this punch. The Nomu has a hole ripped right through its chest as it flies out towards the sea. It nearly appears that the Nomu was there one second and was gone the next. It vanishes without a trace. The only way of knowing what direction it went in was the massive wall that is now missing as it was torn up from the massive amount of winds that ripped right through that area. The leader looks absolutely shocked. It's at this point that Ido is able to escape to go get All Might. As the teleportation villain is now over where Azuku is, Ido is no longer trapped and is able to make his escape. Deku is able to use one for all to dodge the villain's attack. He doesn't want to attack the villains back, because if he does, one for all might kill them. The leader is reaching his hand through multiple portals trying to grab Deku, and Deku is trying to dodge and keep clear of them. His incredibly fast movements are barely keeping him out of the way and out of range of the attacks, as his reaction speed isn't enhanced by one for all at this point. The massive wind pressure is going all over the place. Suddenly the doors burst open and All Might appears. With the Nomu gone and All Might there, the leader of the villains starts to try to get away. The leader complains for a bit. He then moves through a portal to escape. All Might quickly moves to try and go through the portal as well, but it's just slightly too slow as the portal close right it closes just as he attempts to get to it. However, only the teleporter and the leader manage to get away this time. The rest of the villains are rounded up and captured. All Might then ducks away before his time limit is up. This also means that he hasn't pushed himself too far beyond his limit, which also means that he hasn't used up as much one for all as he did in the original. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Sorry this video took so long to get out. I'm actually going through a lot of stuff in real life and I've been very stressed. If you want the one for all explainer video, click the outro after this. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Thank you for taking your time to support this video by watching it. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and have an amazing day. Today's hashtag will be hashtag late much, no space, capital L, capital M. Peace out, mortals. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night, I raise my hand to the fire.